Hi, I'm Camille Victoria and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be going through 25 random facts about myself. So I have a list of questions that I'm going to be going through um, just really to get, get to know me. Get to know me. If you have any more questions, please make sure you comment down below and I would love to hear some and try and answer them for you. So the first question is, please tell us where you were born. So I am a born and bred in Dorset. I love Dorset, it's got fantastic warts, full of beautiful beauty. What's your name and are you proud of it? So my name is Camille, as you know, Camille Victoria. Um, am I proud of it? Mm, strange. I love it. I love the name Camille. At the beginning, probably not so much because um, when I was in school, you used to call me Camilla. No one could get Camille right because no one had heard about it, heard about that name before. It's very French. Bonjour, je m'appelle. Comment ça va? Très va bien. No, please. If you're French, I'm really, really sorry. Um, I'm I'm really bad at any languages. In fact, when I took my GCSEs, they said I couldn't take French. So there you are. Anyway, my name's French, I'm not French. Um, and also another thing, back in school they used to sing Come a, come a, come a, come a, come a chameleon, which got really, really annoying by the way, so please don't say, sing that to me. Okay, next question. Um, are you named after someone? If yes, then whom? I don't know. No. Nope. I don't think I'm named after anyone. I think my mum just decided to call me Camille and that was it. Do you love animals and which one do you love the best? So yes, I love animals. Um, in fact, I have a dog at the moment and two cats. Um, so my dog, she is called Poppy. She's nine years old. I absolutely love her so much. Um, so Poppy, yes, she is a Yorkshire Terrier. She is so, so yappy. You might be able to hear her in the background in a moment. She'd probably go crazy. She, We've just actually got two kittens. So one is called Harry and the other one's called, not Megan, unfortunately. Um, it's called Molly. So my sister's actually called Megan. That's why we didn't name the cat Megan. Otherwise that'd be so cool. Um, so yeah, they're my cats. Which one do I love the most? I can't tell you which one I love most because I don't, I literally love them all the same. Um, all of my family have animals, whether it's dogs, Dogs and dogs, actually. Um, they were actually shocked that I got a cat because they were like, you, you don't seem a cat woman. I'd love to be cat woman. Anyway, um, yes. So love, love, love cats, dogs, any form of pet. Although, what animal don't I get on with would probably be, I wouldn't get on with them, but horses. I love to be one of those people that actually ride horseback down the beach and everything, but you know, I can't even get on one. In fact, my mum actually paid for horse riding lessons when I was younger and I literally screamed the whole time. Hated it. Uh, my sister, on the other hand, absolutely loves horses. So um, she doesn't get why I don't like them. Don't, don't like them. I like them. I like looking at them, but just not on them. Anyway, next one. Do you have children and how many? Yes, I have two children. Um, one is my daughter, Scarlett. She's eight years of age. And I also have my son who is Oscar and he is um, three, actually just turned three. He's on those crazy years. Ah, uh, don't you love them? Although, they didn't tell you about eight year olds. They're very hormonal. Are you married or are you single? Ladies and gentlemen, I have a husband. Yes, I do. Uh, we've been married for five years um, now, which seems like it's flown by, but we've also known each other for 15 years. Which goes on to my next question. Where did you meet your husband? Now, I met my husband on a um, girls' holiday to, I'd like to say Rhodes, but it was actually Fadaraki. Um, so we met on a holiday in Fadaraki and I literally really, really fancied him um, and kind of stalked him in a way. Well, that's what he says. Um, but yeah, uh, so we found, so we met there. He was on a guy's holiday. I was on a girl's holiday. It was an 18 to 30s holiday. Woo! Get the shots in! And we were literally due to leave um, the Fadaraki at the time and um i went up to him and i said could i have your number please because i really really like you and he said no yeah he said no 
Um, so then he felt sorry for me because I looked like I was about to cry. Um, and he gave my he gave me his number out of sympathy. Horrid! I know. Which leads me on to the next question. Who in who asked who to um be their girlfriend, boyfriend. Um, and that was actually me again. Um, I travelled all the way up to Blackburn, he lived in Blackburn at the time, to ask him if he would be my boyfriend. And um, we went outside, I thought it was really romantic, we were in a cricket club, cricket club, <laughs> love it. And he actually said no, again. But um, he, I also looked like I was about to cry again and he decided that he would say yes. So, very romantic. Um, I would like to say I didn't ask him to marry me. Just, just so. Are you proud of your results in high school? Now, that is a good question. I was never very academic in high school, um, to the point where my teachers were like, if you get this amount of points or scores, you will pass, so just get that, please. Um, which I thought was quite hilarious and my mum has four daughters um, and, and one daughter now is very very intelligent and she was with me at school um, she was just hitting A's, A stars and my mum was so so super proud of her um, so my mum said to me just before my GCSEs um, can you just make sure you just pass with a C that's my dog yeah she's looking at my top Poppy. Mm. So cute. Um, anyway, so yes, my mum was like, oh, GCSEs, make sure you pass them. So was I proud about my scores of GCSEs? I passed all of them, super proud. I couldn't do any more. Um, do you love music? And if so, what type of music do you like? Um, my favourite music is by far um, hip hop, street kind of music. I love the new classics. I even have started listening as well to Classic FM. And I thought I would never listen to Classic FM, but I do actually really enjoy it. Michael Jackson has to be my favourite. I love his music. Um, everything that's going on with that, I'm not even sure. But I love his music. Um, and I used to do little like dance routines to that, to Thriller, don't get me started, da da da. Um, so yeah, Michael Jackson is definitely one of my favourite. Um, also Spice Girls way back in the day, woo! Who doesn't love them? I mean, come on. Who was I? I was Posh Spice. I look a bit like scary today with this top. <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, I absolutely loved Victoria Beckham. Come here, Victoria. Where are you working right now? Good question. So where am I working right now? Um, I do a number of jobs at the moment. Um, I love doing vlogging, um, of course. Absolutely love that. In my spare time, I do that um, along with, I do some drama teaching um, for some students and I absolutely love that. It's so, so super fun. Um, at the moment, I am doing that online. So I do some drama. Um, because I have a background of doing drama and I absolutely love drama. How many times do I just say drama then? Drama, 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 drama. Uh, yes, so drama teacher. And I also um, have a job at Wessex FM, um, which I can't believe I got into. It was after having um, a job as a marketing manager and I needed to step back from that. Um, it was, you know, like many jobs are very intense at the time. So I decided I needed to do something fun. I really wanted to do something fun. So I decided to go to my local radio station and ask if they needed any volunteers. And at the time they said, yes, we would love to get you involved. Um, come in, tell us a bit about your history, what you've been into. And I told them about my marketing background. Um, and then they started sending me out to do random things like um, stand on the side of a high highway, Hey in America. Um, sand on the side of the M359 or something, dual carriageway, and give out some um, donuts to the passing public. And I would have to stand there in the pouring rain while people would st uh, start stopping for these free donuts. So we used to give out free donuts. That was hilarious. Um, I also did a find the beauty bed competition, which I loved, where um, they would set up a beauty bed somewhere in 
Dorset and the public had to come and find me. So a bit like Anna Grice, I would like to say. I was the Dorset version of that. A little bit more low key and without the helicopters going up above um so yeah absolutely loved it um still love it to this day uh, just to get in there do some random things for them um i also tend to talk on the radio um when asked um which i love got this slot in the morning with carl ashwin love 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 him um and we literally just talk about random things random subjects um it's just love i just love talking to the public and being involved in the public and just trying something which is completely up the wall so if you have a challenge in the future and you would like someone to do a challenge get me to do it and i will try my best put the comments in below i might try it one day where do you want to travel Mm. Now I always have this travel bug where I have to travel somewhere and like you can see by my blogs I've been to Thailand, um, Russia, I've travelled the world to Australia, me and my husband before we were a husband and wife went to Australia, um, America, Vegas, um, New York, uh, many parts of Europe, my mum used to live in Portugal um, so yeah i absolutely loved it i love traveling where would i like to go to next oh and i went to barbados just saying simon cow wasn't there such a shame um yeah so traveling absolutely love um and where i would like to go there's so many places i would like to go in fact i was watching a program on bbc um and it was around the world and there was different contestants and i absolutely loved it and they went to the seven wonders of the world so i need to do the seven wonders of the world that is my bucket list so definitely traveling i want to do that okay how would you describe yourself in three words um definitely bubbly determined and i'd do anything like literally i would do anything so people just say stuff to me and I'm like a puppet yeah I'll do it I'll do it I'll do it so you know bubbly outgoing and determined I think I changed one of those what ice cream flavor can you eat for the rest of your life if you only picked one now that is very very easy I am bland bland as you can be I love vanilla next question what is your favorite book at the moment now my favorite book is the chain unfortunately I don't actually have it with me at the moment because I gave it to my mum because I loved it so much but it was actually about this chain of it's a bit of a thriller so I'm not sure if you would be into that but um it actually has yeah a chain of people having to kidnap children <laughs> this sounds really horrible but it's actually a fascinating book to read so definitely <laughs> read that it's called the chain i'll leave the comments down below of how you could find that book i'm not strange at all uh, who is your fame favorite female youtuber at the moment my favorite female youtuber i have two sorry I have two. if i'm looking at a local um youtuber it's definitely brogan tate um i love the way that she shoots her videos i love her travel aspect of it um she's into disney as well um so she actually gave me that boost to want to um start my video so definitely brogan tate i love her uh, okay so my next one is called Josie. she is um of the fashion mum mumbler mumbler um I absolutely love her stuff. Now, obviously, it's so high fashion. The things that she um, is really, really into. Um, I'm definitely a super fan of hers. And it was so funny. I was on my way back from New York and I spotted her in the queue. And like a crazy fan, I went up to her and said, Ah, Tracy, I love your clothes. And I looked crazy. My hair was like up here. She must have thought, What are you doing? So, and also, she gave me the motivation to start um, vlogging as well in a completely different vlog as we are. But yeah. She is definitely one of my top two. Who is your favourite actor? I'm really, really sorry, Philip, but I have to say Orlando Bloom. So Orlando Bloom is definitely one of my favourites. Um, I love him and everything he does. He's just hot, hot, hot. Also Leonardo DiCaprio. I mean, who's not like Leonardo DiCaprio? Especially like Titanic. I mean, classic. Come on. Um, and I watched... Uh, once upon a time in Hollywood that was actually pretty funny um, I really really liked that one um, anything catch me if you can Wolf on Wall Street is a really great um, film that he's in so actually Leonardo did just take over my ultimate favorite Orlando Blue 
Orlando, call me. I don't, I have a husband, but still, call me. Um, okay, and my favorite actress has to be Reese Witherspoon. I love Reese Witherspoon. She is so funny. I love how classic she is. She's great in every film that she does, and she's so, so watchable, um, definitely. Um, some people say I look a little bit like her, but I think it's my chinny chin chin. Um, so yeah, and she's actually in something that I'm watching at the moment on Amazon Fire. Um, Amazon. Um, it's the fire is everywhere. She and that is absolutely brilliant. Her acting style is fantastic throughout as a mother. She's amazing. So, Reese Witherspoon's is the definitely yes. Where is your favourite place to eat? Hmm. I love food. Really, really love food, and I could say anywhere, but. I'm gonna say I love Chiquitos I love Chiquitos but unfortunately it is closing around where we are so I'm absolutely um, gutted I love the Mexican food I'm very very into that um, so I have to say I'm a sucker for Chiquitos if you could change a thing about yourself what would it be I am not gonna be one of those people that says I'm not gonna change anything I'm just so wonderful <laughs> because I'm not. If I had all the money in the world, I would probably change my nose. So big. Um, and also just, I don't know. I would really like to have Jessica Alba's body, body. So if we could do that, that would be great swap. Just, just call her up and see if she wants to swap with me. So where would you prefer to holiday? So if you could holiday anywhere, where would you go? I would love to go to Dubai. I would like to try out that as a holiday. I think it would be beautiful over there. Absolutely stunning. The, yeah, I think the culture and everything, I would love to go there and experience that. So definitely Dubai is one for my list. I also know it's a very, very clean place and it's great for children. So Dubai has to be my choice of holiday you if you could choose any type of food you could eat for the rest of your life what would you pick and why okay it's got to have something with cheese in it i love cheese and if i can eat cheese again i'd probably cry right down so uh, pizza maybe pizza stuffed crust pizza because the cheese yeah I love stuffed crust pizza, definitely with um, ham and pineapples. What would the perfect day look like to me? Mm. It would be, of course, with my family, walking along the beach somewhere, choosing a place that we've never been before, and walking down the beach on an evening and taking a picnic. I would definitely love that. I've also managed to find in lockdown some other places um, that were uh like nature reserves so whenever i have the opportunity i grab my camera go to somewhere really random with my children and take lots and lots of pictures of the scenery and i absolutely love it like a day like that take a little picnic a little rug take the take the dog and just really really enjoy being outside so that would be my perfect day and of course having a glass of prosecco at the end <laughs> What do you often find yourself thinking about when you are alone? I am so, so sad. But what I end up thinking about when I'm alone, so if I'm in the car driving around, I sometimes just turn off the radio and just think about what business I would like to start where it would make a difference to my family's life. So that's what I tend to do if I ever have, and my husband will know this, what do I do on my time off is think about new business ideas. And I can't help myself, I can't stop myself from doing it. It's just thinking about, hmm, if that works for that person, maybe I could make that work for me or try and plot something down, making plans, um, definitely content for this uh, vlog or anything is just creating that business um, to make a difference to my family. Well, that's all for my 25 questions. I hope you enjoyed them. If you have any questions you'd like to ask me, make sure you comment below and I will try to answer them for you. In the meantime, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would love you to join me on my next video. So make sure you don't miss my tips, trips, and some funny videos. Bye. <laughs>